Ants, that's right, they're everywhere, and they've been around for a long time. Ants evolved from wasp-like ancestors somewhere between 110 and 130 million years ago during the mid-Cretaceous period. Here in our region, it's only taken a few hundred years for one non-native species to form an entire super colony that stretches 600 miles down the entire west coast. The Argentina is an invasive species that thrives in our region mainly because nests do not compete with one another, instead they work in cooperation. Worker ants are all sterile females that measure about one eighth of an inch long and are shiny brown in appearance. Queens are one sixth to one fourth of an inch long and their sole duties are to mate and produce eggs. Their colonies contain numerous queens. Typically 10% are queens and the remaining 90% are workers. So why do ants invade homes? Good question. Worker ants are nocturnal predators that prey on small animals like birds and insects. Worker ants are constantly searching for new food sources to feed their large colonies. If an ant gains access inside and finds food, they will continue to invade until the food source goes away or until the entry points are sealed off. Inspecting your home for ants or entry points is an important part of an IPM program. Monitor for ants near attractive food sources or moist areas. To find an ant nest, follow the trails from the food source back to the nest. Following trails will also reveal points of entry. To keep ants out of buildings, use caulk to seal cracks and crevices around foundations and other sites that provide entry from outside. Store attractive food items such as sugar, syrup, honey, and pet food in closed containers. Keep all surfaces clean of food debris and possible pheromone trails. Baiting is the preferred treatment for Argentine ants. Workers carry small portions of bait back to the nest where it is transferred mouth to mouth to other workers, larvae, and queens. Bait products must be slow acting so that the foraging ants have time to make their way back to the nest and feed other members of the colony before they are killed. Gel formulations of pesticide baits are packaged in small tubes. They are applied in small cracks and crevices where ants are entering. 